and welcome to Tinseltown Trivia. I am one of your hosts, Brandon Davidson, alongside our normal new host, Sean Sebastian and Keith Cheatham. January and the early months of the year are usually when studios release films they don't expect to do very well. But on this week's Tinseltown Trivia, we've got films that beat those odds. Split is the movie that revitalized M. Night Shyamalan's career. Blumhouse Productions and Shyamalan played it safe, releasing the film January 20th, 2017, on a budget of $9 million. Split ended up being a huge success, grossing over $278 million. January 30th, 2009 brought us the release of Taken. With a budget of $25 million, it grossed nearly $227 million. Not bad for a sleazy and problematic movie that ultimately started the dadsploitation revenge flick craze. Breaking normal conventions by already being a found footage monster flick that had no connection to any other franchise and very little promotion with the title shrouded in secrecy, Cloverfield had one more uncommon trick up its sleeve. It released in January. With a budget of $25 million and a gross of $170 million, it no doubt became a box office hit as well as a cult favorite. Received mildly upon release, The Count of Monte Cristo is the only film from director Kevin Reynolds responsible for any positive feedback from critics. Although all of Reynolds' films have become cult classics in their own right, none found the popularity The Count of Monte Cristo enjoyed, grossing over $75 million on a budget of $35 million. Tremors is a cult classic, you can't deny that. With a budget of $11 million, this film barely grossed $16 million. But a movie about giant worms called Grab Weights that snatch people from underground is fun to watch any month of the year. We hope you've enjoyed this segment of Tinseltown Trivia. And if you love all things film, join us every week on the Red Moon Podcast on Thursday nights live on Facebook and YouTube at 9 p.m. Eastern. That's right. Please like, share, subscribe, and follow us on all of our social media platforms. And if you're a little old-fashioned, please don't hesitate to email us at rmpodcast at redmoonproductions.com. So until next time, we'll We'll see see you at the movies. movies.